we go again with gray sky so we ended off with the last episode uh with <laughs> Dirty old Lamont was secretly calling and texting someone who we find out is now Tiffany. And um, in the meantime, Kendra suspects something is going on. So she asked Tiffany, who's her good friend, hey, can you give me a call? I need to talk to you about something. You know, she suspects Lamont is up to his old ways again, right? So fast forwarded, um, like literally the next evening, she ends up talking to Kendra. Tiffany, excuse me, Kendra and Tiffany end up talking. Her and Tiffany end up having a conversation, you know, good girl talk. And Tiffany reassures her. She's like, look, why, why don't you just ask him what's going on, Kendra? I'm sure it's nothing. And Kendra's like, I don't know. You know, lately I can tell he's really distracted. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I even smelled alcohol in his breath. And I really do hope he's not back to, you know, drinking heavily again. I mean, yeah, he has a beer every other night, but I haven't seen him drink no more than two cans. So I'm just not sure what's going on. So girl, that's the thing about a marriage. You got to have communication. You just can't be going on thinking everything's okay. You need to speak to your husband, Kendra. So anyway, Kendra thinks about it. And so she finally, you know, decides, okay, I need to talk to Lamont. So I don't know what he's hiding. And so she's like, hey, you know, I noticed that, you know, the other day when I came, when you came in, that I'm pretty sure you were on the phone. So he's like, look, I know you thought I was on the phone, on the phone, but what I really want to do is share with you some, some good news. Girl, who we go manipulate Naz Lamont trying to uh, steer the conversation. She's like, what? He's like, you know that business deal, I had to go out on a second trip when you had your doctor's appointment. And she's like, yeah. He said, we got it. She's like, really? He's like, yeah, baby. You know, we will be able to have enough money to pay off a couple of bills and even have a little leftover to play with. And she looked at him. She's like, play with? She's like, well, you know, maybe we should save it. He's like, well, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. We could save it. So, y'all, a couple of weeks go by. Lamont doesn't have to leave out of town much because, again, he got this big deal. And like I said, they were, they're able to use some of this money to pay down their debt because they're still paying down debt, y'all, to pay off some of these debts and have some money to save not play with Lamont, but he's still in his office trying to secure um, future business deals. You know, he's still working, just not as hard. He wants to play, really. So anyway, y'all, Byron still comes over now two to three times out of the week, and they're all there. Um, at least one time a week, he has dinner with them, and but Lamont still is, is a little suspicious of Byron because he was with his lady, like, for a few hours. Why he was away on his trip? So anyway, y'all. Now, Kendra is in her seven months. Girl, we are almost there. She is seven months pregnant. And she gets a call from her mom. And she's like, so, hey, um, what are you doing? She's like, nothing. She's like, well, have you thought about having a, one of those virtual baby showers? She's like, no, I really don't want to have a baby shower. Truth be told, Kendra was so nervous about this pregnancy that she ended up getting a lot of stuff herself. And she didn't want to have to bother with having a baby shower because, I mean, they moved from Chicago. She didn't want to move back. She didn't want to fly back this late in her pregnancy. She just didn't want to do it, uh, especially since she's high risk. I don't know how many times I have to say that. But just a reminder. So she's like, no, nah, that's okay. I don't want to do a virtual shower. She's like, well, why don't you go ahead? This is her mom. Why don't you go ahead and put a baby registry together? I know you like to be in control. And I know you, I'm pretty sure you have tons of stuff already. But just go ahead and pick out a few things and put together a reg registry. And I can send it to um, your cousins and, and the rest of the family. And she's like, yeah, I'll think about it. She's like, well, Kendra, just do it, okay? Do it for your daddy and I. Kendra thinks about it. And of course... Over the next week or so, she mustered up enough, you know, courage, I should say, to go ahead and put together a registry. And she put, she picked out a couple of things. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, Byron is sometimes showing up a little later than usual. Kendra notices that he's acting a little funny and she can't understand what it is. Like, why is he acting this way? She doesn't know if it's because Lamont is here a lot more and they don't have that, you know, quiet time they used to have. Cause they were having, they were spending a lot of time together, you guys, for like two or two to three weeks. So she just brushed it off cause she ain't got time. She's trying to get stuff ready. She um, is getting ready with the nursery. 
And so that's when she asked Byron one day, since he's hardly ever, you know, around. She's like, hey, Byron, um, I'm getting ready to paint the nursery. Uh, do you want to come in here and help me? So he's like, yeah, I can, you know, help you, you know, with it. And so he's helping her paint it. And she's like, hey, I noticed that you haven't been staying around for dinner lately. Is everything okay at home? Is everything all right? And that's when Byron puts down the paintbrush and he's like, you know, it's my aunt. It's it's my auntie. He's And she's like, what's wrong? He's like, it's her old, her old timers, girl. They call it old timers. It's her Alzheimer's. It's getting worse. And I'm afraid that I may have to put her somewhere soon. And that's when Kendra looks at him and she's like, I am so sorry, Byron. If there's anything Lamont and I can do for you, please let me know. And he's like, I appreciate that, Kendra. And so they continue to paint the nursery in silence. And they're painting the nursery like a gray, neutral color. Um, and they can finish painting the nursery in like two or three days, girl. That's it. So, y'all, fast forward. What's wrong? So Kendra figures, okay, that's what's been going on with with La, with Byron, you know. She said, these men, all these men all of a sudden are, you know, having all these issues. So Lamont seems to be okay, but every now and then she still sees him on his phone. And when she goes into, walks into the room, he hears me put his phone away. An entire week goes by and Lamont is acting real crazy. Like he's barely talking to her. He's acting jittery and ner nervous. And Kendra's like, what the hell is going on? And she so, said, Kendra, do you want to go out for dinner tonight? You know? And she's like, yeah, that's fine. Now, Kendra's a little surprised because they haven't been out um, to dinner in this small town at all. She loves to cook. You know, if she's able to, she loves to cook. Or Byron could grill something. Anyway, y'all, so she's like, okay, so... Kendra goes ahead and get ready because it's a little nice spot, you know, that they're going to. So she gets all ready, gets really pretty. She puts on something that she thinks is fitting well. Meanwhile, Lamont is being quiet, acting real nervous. And she's like, what the hell is going on? And so she turns around and looks at him. She's looking in a mirror, right, adjusting her dress. And she turns around. She's like, is everything okay with you? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm going to go downstairs, okay? She sits in the car, right? So they drive and Lamont is really quiet, a lot more quiet. And she's like... Lamont, are you, can I ask, like, what's wrong with you? He said, what do you mean? She was like, what do I mean? Like, you've barely spoken to me all week. And now all of a sudden, you want to go out to eat. He's like, yeah, 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 this, let's just get there. And I promise you, you know, everything will be okay. And she's like, everything will be okay. She's like, what? I don't know what's wrong, but I think that, you know, whenever we have, you know, anything that we should be open and freely to discuss things. She's like, yeah, yeah, I agree with you, honey. Let's just wait till we get it. She's like, no, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. I just don't understand. Like, lately, you've been ignoring me. You hardly be giving me any attention. And he looks at her, and they're almost at the restaurant, you guys. And he's like, where is this coming from? She's like, it's not coming from anywhere. I've been feeling this way for a long time. And he's like, for a long time? For how long? It's just like, well... For like a couple of a couple of weeks that now. And so he's looking at her kind of funny. He parks the car because at the restaurant, right? He gets out and he opens up the door. And he's like, so is it around the time when Byron was hired? And she looks at him. She's like, Lamont, this has nothing to do with Byron. This has to do with you and I. We had issues before he came into play. Like you told me when we moved out here that you would try to do better. But now I'm noticing, you know, a, a little bit of alcohol on your breath. You being really secretive and hiding things. Like, are you back to gambling? And he looks at her. He's like, no, I'm not back to gambling. And so they're walk walking their way up to the hotel, uh, to the restaurant, you guys. And she's like, then what is it? He's like, it's nothing. Thing. I promise she's like, no, I know when you're lying. There's something that's going on and I want to know what it is. And she's, he's like, I promise you, you know, I'm not gambling anymore. Why don't we just go in here and have something to eat and just to get your minds off things. So he opens up the door for her and she's not looking y'all. She's like heated. I can't she's believe like, you barely spoke to me all week. The one doctor's appointment that I really was interested in, you meet, you miss. And yes, I wasn't going to tell you, but Byron ended up coming with me. He said, what? Byron went, she's like, yes, Byron went with me because you're never here. I mean, I understand now you got that business deal, but what I'm trying to get from you is that I feel like something is going on and I need for you. She's still talking y'all. And as she wrote, they're walking around and he's like, Kendra, you need to, you need to calm down. She's like, no, I'm not going to calm down. And she's still heated. And they're walking. As she's coming around the corner, she turns the corner and she sees Tiffany 
her parents, some of her friends from Chicago, and some of his friends around the corner. And it, it, it is a surprise baby shower, y'all. And Kendra is overwhelmed with emotion and she starts crying and she looks over at Lamont and he looks embarrassed. Her family heard, cause they were all quiet, getting ready to surprise her. Her family heard the entire fight and she's like, she looks at Lamont, she's like, I'm so sorry. And she just starts crying. And that's when Tiffany excuses herself and go over and hugs her. All right, you guys, that's it for this part.